Hydrocarbons Objectives Describe the properties of organic compounds Distinguish between saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons Distinguish between alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes Write the formula of alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes Organic compounds Organic compounds always contain carbon and hydrogen also sometimes oxygen, sulfur, nitrogen, phosphorus, or a halogen, such as fluorine, chlorine, bromine, or iodine. The element carbon has a special role in organic chemistry because carbon atoms can bond together with itself to form chains, branches, and ring structures. Properties of organic compounds. In the past, organic compounds were thought to be related only to living things. Example wool. It is now known that organic compounds can be produced outside of living things. Scientists have even synthesized organic compounds that are not found in living things, such as plastics. Organic compounds are mostly molecular with covalent bonds between the atoms, which results in low melting and boiling points and high vapor pressure due to the weak intermolecular forces between the molecules. However, Due to the strong covalent bonds within the molecules, they react very slowly. Most are non-electrolytes, except for organic acids, which are weak electrolytes. Their solubility in water depends on if the compound is polar, soluble, or non-polar, insoluble. Hydrocarbons Hydrocarbons are organic compounds that consist of only carbon and hydrogen. In the simplest hydrocarbon, methane, CH4, the carbon atoms form an octet by sharing four valence electrons with four hydrogen atoms. The bond angles form a tetrahedral arrangement around the central carbon. In organic chemistry, every carbon has four bonds. Saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons. Organic compounds can have single, double, and triple bonds between two carbon atoms. Hydrocarbons with only single bonds are referred to as saturated hydrocarbons, while hydrocarbons with double or triple bonds are referred to as unsaturated hydrocarbons. There are three major classes of hydrocarbons. Alkanes, which have single bonds. Alkenes, which have double bonds and alkynes, which have triple bonds between two adjacent carbon atoms. In alkanes, two carbon atoms share two electrons, or one pair of electrons, to form a single bond. In alkenes, two carbon atoms share four electrons, or two pairs of electrons, to form a double bond. While in alkynes, two carbon atoms share six electrons, or three pairs of electrons to form a triple bond. Practice questions, set one. Classify each organic compound below as an alkane, alkene, or alkyne, and identify if it is saturated or unsaturated. For question one, there are four carbon atoms, and between the carbon atoms, there are single bonds. Now, you might say there are three bonds between the carbon and would want to classify it as an alkyne. That would be incorrect. Because between two adjacent carbon atoms, there are only single bonds. Therefore, this is an alkene, and alkanes are saturated. Question two. There are three carbon atoms. Between two carbon atoms, there's a single bond, and between another two carbon atoms, there is a double bond. Now, there's a total of three bonds between all the carbon atoms. Again, you might want to classify it as an alkyne. However, between two adjacent carbon atoms, there's a single bond, and between the other two, there's a double bond. Since the, two double, since the double bond between the two carbon atoms can be classified as an alkene, it is therefore unsaturated. Question 3. There are four carbon atoms present. Between the first two carbons, there is a double bond, while between the other carbon atoms, there are single bonds. Since there is a double bond, the substance 
can be classified as an alkene, and alkenes are unsaturated. Question 4. There are four carbon atoms. Between two carbon atoms, there's a single bond. Between another two carbon atoms, there's a triple bond. And between the final two carbon, there's a single bond. Since there's a triple bond, the molecule can be classified as an alkyne, and alkynes are unsaturated. An organic compound can be classified as saturated if there are four bonds between all the carbon atoms. Names and formulas of alkanes. Alkanes have a general formula of CnH2n plus 2 where N represents the number of carbon atoms in a molecule. For example, say we have a molecule with one carbon. Here, the N would be equal to 1. Plugging it into our general formula and solving, we have the formula as CH4. Now for the name. The name of alkanes begins with a prefix, which indicates the number of carbon atoms present. Prefix are meth, eth, prop, bute, pent, hex, hept, oct, none, and dec for carbons 1 through 10. The suffix of organic compounds indicates the class it belongs to, such as alkanes, they end in ane, a n e. So, for CH4, there's one carbon present, so the molecule will start with meth, and since it's an alkane, it will end in ANE, methane. For a carbon with two, for a molecule with two carbon atoms, plugging it into a general formula, we have C2H2 multiplied by 2 plus 2. Solving, we have C2H6. That's our formula. Since there's two carbon atoms present, the name will start with F-E-T-H. Since it's an alkane, it will end in A-N-E, so it will be known as ethane. For three carbon atoms, C3H8. There are three carbons, so the name starts with prop. It's an alkane. Therefore, it will end in A-N-E, so it'll, it is known as propane. The difference between carbon with one, a molecule with one carbon, and a molecule with two carbons is CH2. There's one additional carbon and two additional hydrogen to go from CH4 to C2H6. There's also an additional CH2 to go between a two carbon organic compound, that's an alkene, and a three carbon organic compound, that's an alkene. Say we were to go to 4 carbon, we will increase the number of carbon by 1, so now we have C4, and the number of hydrogen will also increase by 2, H10. You can simply add a carbon and 2 hydrogen to go from one formula to the other, or you can just use the general formula by plugging it in. And this substance is known as butane. Because there's 4 carbon, it starts with bute, and since it's an alkane, it ends in A and E. Names and formulas of alkenes. Alkenes have the general formula of CnH2n, where n is the number of carbon atoms. Now, since there's a double bond between alkenes, we cannot have an alkene with just one carbon. Therefore, the first alkene will have two carbons present. So, let's solve how many hydrogen we will have for an alkene that has two carbons using the formula CnH2n. We solve that it will have four hydrogen, C2H4. Now for the naming. The names of alkenes begin with the prefix, similar to alkenes, that identify how many carbon atoms present. However, the names of alkenes end in E-N-E. -E. Therefore, our formula will be called ethene. F indicating there are two carbons, and E and E indicating it's an alkene hydrocarbon. What about an alkene with three carbons? Plugging it into a general formula, we have C3H6. 
for the name, it will start with prop because there are three carbons and end in E and E, propene. Each organic compound and alkene is different from the other by one carbon and two hydrogen, similar to our alkanes, which predicts our next molecule to be C4H8, which is known as butene. Names and formulas of alkynes. Alkynes have the general formula CnH2n minus 2, where n is the number of carbon atoms. Again, we do not have an alkyne with just one carbon, since there must be a triple bond present in an alkyne. Here, solving for an alkyne with two carbon atoms, we have CnH2n minus 2, plugging in our general formula. We solve and we have C2H2. Now for the naming. The names of alkynes begins with a prefix which indicates the number of carbon atoms, similar to alkene and alkene. Since there are two carbon atoms, the name will start with F, while the ending will end in Y and E, ein. So our formula is C2H4 and the name is ethine. For three carbon alkyne solving, we have C3 H4. Since there are three carbon atoms present, the name will start with prop, and since it's an alkyne, it'll end in Y and E, so it'll be known as propine. The difference between one to the other is again CH2, a difference of one carbon and two hydrogen. So we can use that to predict our fourth molecule, or our carbon with our molecule with four carbons, which is C4H8. Since there are four carbons, the name starts with bute, and since it's an alkyne, it ends in Y and E, so it's known as butyne. Practice questions set two. Classify each organic compound below as an alkane, alkene, or alkyne, and identify if it is saturated or unsaturated. Question one, C5H12. The number of hydrogen is doubled the number of carbon plus two. It follows the formula of an alkane, and alkanes are saturated. Question two. The number of hydrogen, 10, is double the number of carbon, five. This satisfies the formula CnH2n, which is the formula for an alkene, and this is unsaturated. Question three. C5H8. The number of hydrogen is less than double the number of carbons. Therefore, it satisfies the formula of an alkyne and it is unsaturated. Question 4. C7H12. 12 is less than double the number of carbon atoms. It is less than 14. Therefore, it satisfies an alkyne formula and it is unsaturated. Question 5. C4H8. The number of hydrogen is double the number of carbons, therefore it satisfies the alkene general formula, and it is unsaturated. C8H18. The number of hydrogen is more than twice the number of carbons, therefore it is an alkene, and it is saturated. 